I have been using this theme for my websites, for my clients, and basically for everything, for all my web developments. I always prefer to use this theme, and I have been a top-rated web developer, and I have been developing websites for almost 10 years now. The first time I stumbled with the DB theme, I was really blown away by how easy I can, you know, create my business online. How can I easily launch landing pages, membership sites, portfolio websites, you know, for my clients. And I, it really helped me in my business. So if you want to learn why, then watch out, stay tuned, and I will tell you why. Okay, so here we are at my website. This website, if you think this is cool, well, I think it's cool. And this is also made by DB. And using DB, you, you will also have all the benefits of using DB. One of it is, you know, being able to use the Monarch plugin, which is a sharing plugin. As you can see, it's really very looking good. This one. This is Monarch plugin that comes free together with the DB theme. And also another benefit is the opt-in. You will see that there is a nice opt-in form. Very cool, very, very beautiful. That is also made possible by the DB theme. All right, so you see this opt-in here that uh, I've set up to to appear when the user is on you know have read and it will appear so it's also very cool very nice right so th this really increase my opt-in so that comes free with a purchase of the DB theme so that is why I would highly recommend you know you to try DB because it will also blow you away all right it has also a flexible format of you know displaying your blog on the website like this one a grid view and I can also change that to default view I can also do that so it has a very nice layout of you know the blog the blog section of the website and for creating a page uh, it's also really very flexible if you're creating a website for your client a landing page a membership site page now if you have watched my tutorial on how to create membership site with WordPress using DB Builder you will see that DB is powerful enough you know to create membership pages you know for training for courses online you can use DB for that as well now in this demo I will be showing you how to create a page using DB okay so let's go to our dashboard and I will go to pages and I will click add new let's create a page and I will edit the page using visual builder and this will open the front end visual editor so we are expecting a blank page all right so we can start from scratch we can choose from a pre-made layout or we can clone an existing page in our website now you see the power of you know we can go to browse a pre-made layout we can easily launch ready-made templates all right, so you have a lot of options here. Uh, you can, so you can go for business and you can choose from the many layouts here like web agency, there is a landing page, services, pricing, portfolio, careers. So if you want to create a website like this, you can easily launch this one. You can select that. and make that website yours all right but in this tutorial i prefer to do it myself from scratch now there are only three parts of the editor that you need to take note we have this section we have the row and inside the row 
you have the module so you always have to put that in mind in editing section you have the row and inside the row you can add modules okay now sections will handle rows and row will will contain like the modules like in the section here if i want to change the design i can create a background now remember i have these two colors in mind i will choose red and the other one is you no know, white i can create or add another section we'll make it regular and i'll make it uh, two column section here All right so i will not be adding modules yet so this is the the other section and i will create another section regular i want it to have like only one column row so i will not be adding module yet so this is the next section so i have three one two three sections and i will design this next section and i will put a background of gray okay so that is one rule of branding uh, i'm using the color log of my logos of my brand to you know to be consistent of the look of the website okay so i have this now uh, on this section here you see how e easy i can rearrange everything by dragging and dropping them i can put the section here at the bottom i can also rearrange if i want the gray to be on top white uh, on the middle that it is also possible now i can now start to add modules inside the row you can add modules you can add text I will put a headline and then you can edit the content of the text you can increase by just dragging right you can increase the size and the letter, text height you can increase and decrease I can change the color to white and then I can also change the font I will choose railway which is my favorite font all right so I will be adding an opt-in form so you can add a module there is an email opt-in now you have an email opt-in here that you can easily design and change the header so I'll just change the header and the content I have my autoresponder built in on my website here I have my own newsletter I have my autoresponder I have my subscriber here I have my forms I have my list before I use MailChimp get response Aweber but it gets a lot expensive especially when you reach 2,000 subscriber and up if you have it on your WordPress installation and you just simply use Amazon to send out your emails it's really really very uh, cheap and you only pay by the number of emails you send uh, I am able to send like 50,000 emails a day and that cost me like 0, 0.0 something so it's really very cheap watch out for that I would invite you to subscribe to my newsletter so that you will be notified if that tutorial will be out I will be teaching you how to have your own autoresponder as well okay so I have this mailster link to my email opt-in so I can design I can change the layout the background you can remove if you don't you can make them half half to have this pattern here so half of the first name last name and you can also change the background color here you can change that to like i like
I will click section settings and go to the design <clears throat> and I will go to the dividers in the dividers I can put it because I'm editing this one so I'll put at the bottom a divider style which is let's choose a divider maybe like this oh I'm editing the this one the the second section so that is why it affected the bottom or so if I will want to put at the top let's remove the maybe we'll put this at the bottom and on its top we can also create a different divider maybe this one and we can increase decrease the divider height right so just that, like that voila you have a very beautiful landing page so that is how easy it is we were able to create landing page quick and easy so we can then now just save this page and there you go we have a beautiful landing page very easily now you can just imagine you know uh, how you can you know you can just imagine how you will be able to use this in your business because it's basically allow you to you know have that total freedom as far as design is concerned and if we will look at this on the mobile view let me check this on a mobile view it's perfect right simply perfect and on the and on iPads and tablets that is also looking perfect and also for desktop right guys so this has been my review so if you are creating a landing page you know you can do it you can start from scratch or you can get a ready-made theme or template uh, also from DB so the limitation is just your imagination so as long as you know you know what you want you will be able to do it using the DB theme so I'll put a link below yes that is an affiliate link that means that I may earn if you will purchase through my link but at no extra cost to you you know uh, I don't just refer or recommend anything uh, you know I recommend it because it has value and because it is useful and I hope it will help you too so thank you very much for your time and uh, please don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials in the future and I will try to and in the future I will try to do the tutorial for how to have your own autoresponder um, in your WordPress installation maybe next video so I would invite you to subscribe to my website I'll put I'll put all the links at the bottom of this description so thank you very much for watching until next time I'll see you on my next video bye bye